Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, continuing with our Rod 53, uh, I'll so like I promised, I'll be showing you the most important part of well, the Route 53, which could feature an exam is the routing policies. Cool. So you can see I'm in my Route 53 console. I've created one private. So if you go to hosted zone, there are two types of hosted zone, basically private and public. Public you'll create for any of the uh, domain which where you are hosting some public application, uh, so the public facing application and private you basically normally use for uh, your internal use like if you have an organization and you have uh, internal host names basically for your servers so there you are going to use a private uh, hosted zone. Okay, so I've created one private hosted zone as example.com and let's go inside it. You can see AWS create some default uh, uh, records for you, uh, name basically name servers and SOA records. So name servers basically are the servers which are responsible to answer the query for your domain. So anyone if queries your domain, uh, the answer comes from the name server. Okay, so let's continue. Before that, let's talk about a little about health checks. So we won't go to, into a lot of detail because health checks is an advanced concept and probably we'll be covering this more when we'll do solution architect professional exam because it features more in that and not enough in the associate exam. So health checks are basically if you go to health check page you can see so you can create I mean it's pretty basic while creating health check, but using them is a little advanced concept. So you can see, you can name, give a name to your health check, what kind of health checks you want. It's an endpoint. So most of the time we'll try to select an endpoint rather than these two. And whether it will be an IP or a domain, so you can select an IP or domain. You want any particular protocol, you can do HTTP, HTTPS or any TCP port. The IP address and the port where you want to check. So. I think we'll be covering this in professional mode. I just wanted to give you an overlook that how you can create a health check. So it, it's not basically required for associate exam. Going back to routing policies, which is important. So you can see right now I just have two two uh, record entries. So let's what let's do is let's create a record set, and you can see routing policies are over here. So the first one is a simple one. Simple routing policy is basically when you use, when you point an IP address to a domain name. So suppose you have a website which is running on www.example.com and you have an IP address and so the IP address is suppose 10.1.1.10. .1 .1 uh, most of the, in when you'll have a public website, it will be a public IP address. Currently, like I don't have a public domain, so I'm just giving a private IP. And I'm selecting a simple routing policy and I'll just create the record. And you can see that this IP is now pointing to www.example.com with a TTL of 300 seconds. So this is as simple as that. Next routing policy which we are going to refer is the weighted policy. So for weighted policy, we are going to create two records for www.example.com. The first one would say point to 10.1.1.10 and weight will be 90%. ID will be say primary and let's create and let's create another record say the same for www.example.com the ip would be 10.1.1.11 weighted and say 10 percent and secondary so what this record will do is that it will redirect 90 percent of your queries to this IP and only 10% of your queries to this IP 10.1.1.11 depending upon the weight. So you can see we have given the weight. So 90% basically you can define it as 9 as well. 9 and 1 also, uh, 90 and 10 also, 900 and 100 also. So it depends on how the weight, the, what kind of weight you are looking for. But it basically represents a percentage. So 90% of my queries will go to this IP and 10% of my queries will go to this IP. So this is what weighted routing policy does. 
Important policy which we are going to talk about is latency based. So it's basically the time uh, for your user to hit your domain. It depends upon that uh, latency. So suppose you have a record, say www.example.com and it is pointing to an IP 10.1.1.10, which is you say, suppose is in US East 1. Say this is your primary website. And we create it. Now we create another record set, say www.example.com, and this is pointing to an IP called 10.1.1.11 and latency policy. And say this is I this IP is in somewhere Europe, say secondary. So now what will happen is that any of your users which are going to access your website from Europe would be hitting this IP because the latency for this would be less compared to the latency for this IP because if you talk about in the sense of uh, say at world level suppose if your users are in Europe uh, the latency to this uh, endpoint would be much less compared if they go and hit a web server which is located somewhere in US so that is what latency record does basically uh, redirects uh, the request based on the latency of the users is failover so it's something like your uh, what should I say like the word said failover so suppose you create two records for example.com 10.1.1.10 and select the routing policy as failover mark it as primary and create see so this is this is where the health check come so for failover policy you need to have a health check so that is what uh, route 53 is going to check basically so some health check must be associated with this web server which when fails your record would point to your secondary uh, web server so we'll probably cover this that in some other lecture uh, and we'll just move on with failover so I think you got the concept of basically failover so you have two records with the failover policy so if one record fails your DNS query go to the other record it's simple routing policy is geolocation geolocation is basically based on the location of your end users so basically you define a policy based on the location of your end user so suppose I have a record for www.example.com and this server you suppose it's in US East which is North Virginia so what geolocation policy defines is that I want that all my users which suppose are in United Arab Emirates or UAE should when they try to access my website should be directed to this uh, IP because that would be like suppose I have only I am a very small uh, website and I have just two servers one in US East which is North Virginia and one is say in somewhere in Australia so for the users who are accessing my website from UAE US East is much closer compared to Australia so I would want them to hit this IP it's created so you can see all the users which now uh, in UAE hit my website would be directed to this web server so this is what geolocation does basically last routing policy is multi-value answer so multi-value answer basically functions like a load balancer uh, so and it it routes your basically it routes your dns queries in a round robin fashion so suppose i have www.example.com and it is pointed 10.1.1.10 and say this is my LB1 and then I create another record for www.example.com and 10.1.1.11 and say this is my LB2 so now what route robin so what route 53 is going to do is it's going to do a round robin between these two so every time someone hits my website www.example.com it will route one request to 1.10 the other request to 1.11 in the round robin fashion like how the round robin works so this is what uh, uh, multi value answer does basically 
uh, there's a lot to it but we'll cover that in a professional exam so for now it's just let's keep it simple and you know you should know that how basically the routing policies work and what each routing policy refers to so for associate exam that would be enough for route 53 if you know the routing policies that would be enough nothing else is going to come from route 53 more than that uh, i hope you like this lecture uh, so let's continue with the course thank you for watching